I've worked with some pretty sketchy looking animals, but nothing so far has disgusted, repulsed, downright revolted me quite like the carnivorous grub I found while filming frogs at an ephemeral pool. These desert water sources are the equivalent of a cheap sleazy motel, attracting frogs from all around to breed and make lots of tadpoles before going out to grab milk and abandoning them forever. But this desert mud hole isn't a safe nursery. It's home to plenty of predators wanting to make a meal of these juveniles. And I was gonna stumble upon the single ugliest of these child murderers, a giant predatory beetle grub. Oh my God, what the heck is that? That is disgusting. Is that a beetle larva? Why is it on land? Okay, I was gonna film some uh, frogs today, but I guess I'm gonna film this monstrosity. Oh my God, that thing is horrifying. Uh, I'm gonna scoop them up in a jar. I'm pretty sure it's an aquatic beetle larva, so I'm gonna fill it up with some water. But uh, man, that thing is just unsettling looking. My Lord. I knew it was a beetle larva of some sort, but it was way more maggot-like than any I had seen. But after some quick research, I learned this was none other than the larva of a giant water scavenger beetle. And after putting it in a jar with some water, we can now take a look at this little mud monster. All right, we've got it in the jar. This is the larva of a giant scavenger beetle. Now this thing is horrifying looking, and as you can imagine, any tadpole in this pond, this is pretty much gonna be their worst nightmare. The adult is a relatively harmless scavenger of whatever pond scum it can find, but as a larva, it's in its full-blown rebellious teen phase, and hunts the tadpoles and juvenile frogs that depend on this water. It uses those massive mandibles to grab a hold of its prey and inject digestive enzymes into it, liquefying its insides and slurping it all up. Now I know just holding it in a jar isn't good enough for you guys. You want to see me scream like a little girl as it thrashes around in my hand and bites me. So I pour one out for the homies and mentally prepare myself for what's about to occur. All right, we've set this guy on the ground. I'm gonna try and pick him up. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh, why is it so gross? Okay, okay, buddy, just don't bite me. Oh, very warm, squishy body. That is very unsettling. All right, there we go. Look at, oh God, look at that thing. Look at that. Oh God, it's flopping around. Oh my God, oh God, don't bite me, please. God, look at those pinchers on that thing. Oh God, look at it move. Oh my God, that's so freaking weird. Oh man, look at that thing. That is horrifying. Oh man. If any of you meet me and want to shake my hand, this may, this may change your mind. Okay, oh, he went to bite me. Oh my God, oh, he bit me, he bit me. Oh, look at that, oh my God. Okay, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, but that is just, oh man, that is horrid. I'm trying to get a thumbnail shot of you and, oh man, you're making it hard. You're making it real hard, buddy. Oh, clamping down. All right, we're gonna set this guy back. I think my hand has had enough punishment for the day. We're gonna set him down in this damper spot. I found him walking on land, so I'm not gonna put him right into the water in case he's ready to pupate and watch him go. Look at that monster. All right, that definitely wins the award for most disgusting thing I've ever worked with for a video. That thing was horrifying. Something about anything that looks like a grub just freaks me out. And uh, if you ever see a temporary pond like this, maybe you'll think twice about getting near it because I, I really would not recommend just looking at that thing. It is horrible. Despite the objective ugliness of that little dude, I can't help but be fascinated. What an amazing little invertebrate and definitely a day to remember. If you want to learn more about some other bizarre insects and other creatures, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.